Vitamin E is one of the major vitamins that exist naturally in foods. In this video, I want to talk about what vitamin E is, its roles in the body, and how to get enough of it, which means we will talk about vitamin E supplementation at the end of the video. Let's start by discussing what vitamin E is and why we need it. Vitamin E is an essential dietary nutrient, meaning we need to get it from food and cannot produce it ourselves. Even though it is often thought of as a single nutrient, it's actually a group of eight fat-soluble compounds with powerful antioxidant effects. Because they're all fat-soluble, they're better absorbed when combined with fat, and they can also be stored in fat tissue in the body. The RDA for vitamin E is 15 mg daily, or 22 international units. Vitamin E has several different functions in the body. The main ones are 1. To act as an antioxidant. Similar to vitamin C, vitamin E can act as a powerful antioxidant in the body, and studies have linked a higher vitamin E intake to reduced markers of oxidative stress, as well as higher antioxidant defenses. Basically, you can see it as a protection of the body against inflammation and stress of all sorts. Next is cell membrane integrity. Even though vitamin E is only a minor component of the cell membrane, so the outer wall of the cell, it may play a significant role in its integrity. Once it enters the cell membrane, it appears to fix itself in place to stabilize the membrane and give it structure. As you can imagine, without vitamin E as a stabilizer, cell membranes can more easily rupture, which ultimately leads to a quicker cell death, and all the negative side effects such as inflammation and disease that come with that. And third, we have neurological functioning. Vitamin E is required for the proper functioning of the central nervous system. It helps avoid neurological problems such as difficulty coordinating movements and speech, loss of reflexes in the legs, and a tingling sensation in your arms. While the exact role of vitamin E in all of these processes isn't entirely clear, the reason is probably that its antioxidant properties protect the brain and nervous system against disease. Let's now talk about high vitamin E foods and its best sources. In general, the foods highest in vitamin E are plant oils, seeds, and nuts. Individual foods include sunflower seeds, almonds, as well as canola oil. However, by far the best source is wheat germ oil, with over 150 milligrams of vitamin E per 100 grams. Also, red palm oil, which is not the same as the white palm oil that most people are familiar with, is also a good vitamin E source. This then brings me to vitamin E supplementation. If you decide to supplement, I recommend you get a quality vitamin E product. Unfortunately, most of the products you will find only include alpha tocopherol, which is only one of the eight forms of natural vitamin E. This is done for cost reasons and because alpha tocopherol appears to be the most active form. However, that doesn't mean you don't need the other forms as well. And I personally believe taking large amounts of one single nutrient without its cofactors is never a good idea. So instead, look for the following when buying a vitamin E supplement. It should contain all eight vitamin E forms. There are four tocopherols, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta, and four tocotrienols, also alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. It shouldn't be made out of soybean, canola, sunflower, or flaxseed oil, because these are not stable at high temperatures, which these supplements often undergo during processing. It's better if it's made out of red palm oil, rice oil, or rice bran. A quality product will have anywhere between 100 and 400 IU, but more isn't always better, so don't be fooled by potency claims. One milligram of alpha tocopherol equals 1.49 international units of vitamin E. The other three tocopherols and all four tocotrienols allow much lower vitamin E claims, with one milligram being only around 0.04 international units of vitamin E. Just as a side note, I'm generally not a big fan of supplementing high doses of the fat-soluble vitamins, simply because they can accumulate in the body over time and crowd out other antagonist vitamins. 
I personally have taken vitamin E supplements in the past, but today I try to cover my daily intake through wheat germ oil and red palm oil alone. It works well, and since I like their taste, I just use them as kind of a sauce on my vegetables. If this is not an option for you, start with a low-dose natural vitamin E supplement and see how your body reacts to it. Be careful when supplementing and, as always, listen to your body and keep an eye on your other essential nutrients as well.